Alrighty, time for another edition of Science Sunday. Of course, joined by Eva Ryle of the Connecticut Science Center. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. We're talking about, for this segment, refraction of light. Yes. Yeah, All we're right. going to talk about what happens to light when it passes between different mediums. All right. Um, and that can cause it to bend. So the first thing I wanted to show you was with a laser. So a laser is one beam of light. Uh, that's why we like using them to study. All right. So we are going to see what happens when this light travels from the air into water. All right. Okay, so I'm going to have this laser, and if you don't mind, spraying some of that fog spray just to help us see it a so little bit better. So I do have some fancy fog spray. Fancy fog spray. So I'm going to spray right down. Yeah. So you'll notice. There you go. You're good. Fog. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, stop, please. As we go from the air into the water, it looks like that light beam has is bending. Absolutely. Right? It's changing direction. Um, so that's as we as the light travels from the air into the water, it's changing speed. Okay. And that's refraction. All right. Um, and it is responsible for things like your glasses, how they work. Right? Right. It's just light bending. Um, but things can have a similar what we call an index of refraction. All right. And so that means uh, that they bend light in similar ways. So I'm going to show you how that works. Um, we have a glass of water and a glass of vegetable oil. Oh, yum. One of our old favorites. All right. <laughs> and I have two uh, Pyrex glasses here. Now, water and Pyrex have pretty different index of refraction, but uh, vegetable oil and Pyrex, theirs is pretty similar. So we're before gonna... this happens, that means we're going to be able to maybe see one but not see the other as we submerge them? Exactly. All right. So we're going to see what that looks like. Science. Exactly. If you want to take the water one and pop right. that in. Actually, if you put this behind me, you can sure. see it a little bit better. I'll hold that up. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So you can see as they go in, we can see both of them. Now nice. we're going to start filling them. And you'll notice that the one in the oil seems to disappear as it fills. Right? But the one in the water, we can still see. So because oil and Pyrex have a pretty similar index of refraction, that means they bend light in similar ways, uh, the light is passing through them in the same way, and it, it makes that Pyrex look like it disappears. That's, Isn't and, that cool? And, I mean, obviously, <laughs> viewers are seeing it from the angle of the camera. I'm standing above it, and from a whole different perspective, I cannot see that Pyrex can't glass. Can't see it at all. No, cannot see it. Yeah, we can see the lettering on there, but you can't see that sure. actual Pyrex. All right. Pretty cool, right? Very cool. Um, so right. while the water has a different index of refraction than the Pyrex, it does have a similar index of refraction to jelly marbles. All right, and a jelly marble, this is a polymer yes. that absorbs water. Exactly. Right. So when they're hydrated like this, they're 99% water, which is why they bend light so similarly to water, because they're mostly water. Mm -hmm. So I have something underneath here. We can't really see it right now through the jelly marbles, but if we pour in all this water, if you don't mind helping me out sure, with that, sure, sure. we're going to give that light a straight path to go through down to the bottom. And you'll start to be able to Look read our little that. message under there. <laughs> How cool. Isn't that cool? All right, so you can actually barely make out, even from the different perspectives, perspectives of the camera, where those jelly marbles are. Exactly, yeah. yeah, because they have such a similar index of refraction, but the light is passing through them in the same way. They are here. They are still in there. They didn't dissolve. Isn't that cool? Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> still, they're still here. You can see them as I'm moving them around. Yeah. But as they, as they settle, you'll be able to see again the, the Science Sunday logo. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, right? Pretty awesome, for yeah, sure. Yeah, light's pretty crazy. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so um, of course you guys are always doing life science at the Science mm -hmm. Center, and we like to ever tell everyone about events that are coming up, and Memorial Day weekend is a big one. While you are closed on Monday, yes. Saturday and Sunday, the 25th and 26th, you guys have a, a special deal going on. Yes, yeah, so uh, if you are an active or retired uh, military person, or if you are a first responder, uh, it's free admission to the Science Center that weekend, the 25th and the 26th. So you just need to bring some sort of idea some sort of ID, yeah. And then family members also get a discount. Exactly, yeah. So active or retired, uh, those who serve, honoring those. Absolutely, yeah. Right. Thank you for your service and yeah. come visit us. Awesome, very good. Eva, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.